In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I pull and pack my items for my 13,000 item eBay store. Alright guys, so right here I have a screen recording already on my phone of the items that I have to ship. It's uh, 98 that I have to ship today. Yesterday I did about 60, uh, but today I want to knock out like another 50. Uh, I don't want to do all 98. Uh, some were, you know, ordered like last night, this morning. I'm going to try to knock out the ones from like uh, the day before. So uh, right here we have two big items. Um, so it's going to be this huge one right here. Um, or oh, you guys can see it on the screen, my bad. Uh, but yeah, uh, we have two, a receiver. Um, this item I actually have right there. So it's a few receivers and a big subwoofer But for now, we're gonna pull out all the small ones first and then at the end I'm gonna pull out the big ones. I, I like doing it like that. So 108. It is a Apple Airport Express. All this item sold for $11.99 plus uh, Like $6.99 shipping. This is box 623. It's an Apple AirPod, I mean uh, iPod. And this one sold for uh, $19.49 Okay, so it's right here, and it actually has like a case on it, um, and it's uh, 80 gigabytes, and it actually turned on and everything. So now we're going to box 375. It's uh, a Disney Pink Princess DVD controller, <laughs> and it actually sold for 20 bucks. That's actually crazy. But, and this next one is a Ford uh, Smart Keyless Remote, um, and that one sold for 20 bucks as well, and that's in box 209. And this one is right here, put that in my pocket. This next one is in, uh, box number 40, which is right here. Um, oh, I'm skipping the one that's in 539. But in 40, it's two things. I think it's these two. A lot of two. Back in the day, these, this is an old listing. I used to do a lot of lot of twos just to get rid of stuff as a unit. But obviously, it barely sold like after a year. It is what it is. Well, and this is a uh, remote control. Oh, it doesn't have the stickers on it, but I'm pretty sure it's there. Damn. So this is a remote control right here. This one sold for $577. It's right here. And this sold for $7. I've been discounting a lot of old pictures. I used to edit a lot of them. Like you guys see right here in this one, all the ones that are edited and like that with the white background, those are not um, recent. So I've been uh, discounting a lot of items just to get rid of them. All right, 427. This is a shaver that sold for $4 too. Boom. Yep, and that one sold for, like I said, $4.38. Um, another, older uh item so this one i'm gonna click on the skew right here and it's at the end of the picture like this is my for my old inventory so it's a box 14 in the tubs this is how i started my inventory system back in the day so it's gonna be down here all the way down here boom this is from way back in the day like when i first saw my when i was in the garage down here so, but it's, it's all for eight bucks, so it is what it is. Yeah, that one's all for eight. These sold for 1264. Like I said, they've been up for a while, but as long as they sell, I don't mind. So what I do when they are bunched up into twos, hold on, number eight. I usually, I always clean these before I bubble wrap them and stuff, but what I'm gonna do is, if I have like little lots of twos that sold, I'll do like this and I'll remember this. I'll just kind of bunch them up together. Pull this one down right here because it's over here. This is a bow subwoofer. It says rack blue because it's in it's on the blue rack. So I remembered that. Put that over there. And get it ready for bubble wrap and for a big box. And I'll show you guys how much that one sold for right now. This item actually was on here as well, but I pulled it out yesterday. Um, that shit sold for $16. That's a piece of garbage. Um, I think I sold it for parts. But it's gone. Instead of me throwing it away, at least I got some, some money for it. So 388, $5 as well. Um, 403, and it went for $18. 403. Oh, yeah, it starts over here. Now, this 
seen it already creeping in the 20 items that I wanted to pull. This is why I have the, the stickers. A lot of people were commenting that. These are these two are like the same. I want it to be the exact one so, you know, they could literally, I could literally easily mess them up, especially when I used to have employees. They don't know like the difference on them. They just see the picture on something and they just pull it out and they ship it out and it's the wrong one sometimes. So 450. Those headphones, like I said, sold for 18. This uh, toothbrush handle sold for 10. Um, and look, look at this. Look at all these toothbrush handles. They all need the freaking number or else I'm going to ship the wrong one every single time. 46, 12. for ten dollars i always get a bunch of these so that was good box 444 now right here and then box so this sold for 43.99 on uh, this next apple base station router it's for like wi-fi sold for 13 dollars so it's an r25 the way i did it now like for the new ones i put r for rack because I do have boxes in the white that are, you know, on the on this rack, but this is for rack, so I know how to separate them. So the 25 is right here, which is backwards, and it's already right here. But these always sell good. Anything Apple sells pretty fast. Um, obviously, it didn't sell like expensive, but it sold for $13. But it sold pretty freaking fast. So now we're going to box 412. This sold for five bucks, Amazon Echo. Oh, completely wrong uh, box, 412. <laughs> All right, 3506, five bucks. I'll take it. I want all the money. 549, that one is up here as well. Let me get that ladder. Oh, actually, I already pulled something out up here, huh? Okay. So 549 is going to be on this other side. But 422 is right here as well. So let's knock this one out. Apple TV sold for $8. I get these like dirt cheap. All these items, I get them pretty freaking cheap, like pennies, damn near. So, you know, if I get five bucks, it's still something. So that camera is in box. Can you hold this for me? Sorry. 549. And this camera sold for $35. Okay, put that to the side. They're playing meter right now. Uh, box 244. Could be on this other side. So this is a Honeywell uh, wireless single laser barcode scanner, and that sold for thirty two dollars. Two forty four. Damn it, it's right here. I might just keep doing it like this. Uh, so this, like the scanners and commercial type scanners, always look for these. Uh, they they sell right away. So. This next thing is a Skull Candy uh, rechargeable earbud. It's just a charging case and it's sold for $11.99. So it's right here. Just the, the freaking um, the charging case alone. I'm gonna have to pull this down. $22.90, just the charging case alone sold for $11.99. So it's pretty dang good. Boom. So now it's box 430 that we're going to. It's gonna be on this other side. And uh, this sold for 1580. 530. Oh, right here. And this is a Blackberry phone. I still pick them up. I mean they, they sell 15 bucks. Just paid for the Hulu. Hulu and the Netflix. Uh, so now we're going to box G uh, Dyson. 
that I sold uh, just the motorhead alone. This one's actually my personal one, and I got a bigger Dyson, and I just wanted to get rid of it too. But I, I found it like while I was doing these deals. One time I bought like 40 Dysons like that, and I kept one, but then I just got rid of it. So G is right here. I think this is a pretty empty box now. Oh no, it's pretty heavy still. Well, this is where I keep like this, these kind of medium items. Like little drills. Three ninety six, so it's on this other side. Put this here. Imagine if I could read, bro. Let's see. This is a pet training collar. Um, I always pick those up as well. That's all for eleven ninety nine. And this is a more a crappier brand. Uh, but like Garmin and brands like that, just go for like one forty. So always keep an eye out for those. Uh, this thing in box four fifty six sold for seven dollars, and it is a little baby monitor. Let's see, sometimes you find them really quick, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you don't find them at all. So now box two eleven and four ninety seven. So let me do the four ninety seven first since we're right here, and four seventy five actually. Uh, these little things sold for eighteen dollars and eleven dollars, and it's the same actual customer, so I might throw them in the same package for him. Um, and it is a little Dyson attachment. So, and then box to land on the four seventy five is like right here. I mean five seventy five, and these JBLs four parts only sold for ten dollars. I'll take that all day. Let's see. Boom. Yeah, these are display units. They don't work at all. I think uh, if you, they don't work at all, like throw them away with Bluetooth. I think you need to like rewire them and kind of use them like as a display unit. So bam, I'm gonna put this here for the Dyson. And then uh, box 211, which is like right here. It's for the Dyson. So yeah, they bought this one. This one does have the numbers. I think it fell off. You know, it's actually not even this one, so that's why the numbers are important. Looking at the picture, but if you if you just go quick and you're not paying attention, you'll pull out the wrong item. So normally you have the, the sticker, but this one doesn't have it, and there's like three in there, so you gotta be careful. Actually, yeah, it is this one. <laughs> so now we're at box 474 and oh, 576 again, so we'll go over here. 576 474 um, $6. I still pick these up just because they sell so fast. I sell them for parts because they usually get locked with an, another account. Put this down here. Um, and 574 on this side. A Clarisonic thing sold for uh, $27. Those, I always pick those up as well. I have a charger that I bought because I always get them. So that way I can just check, uh, test them out really fast. I was like, where the heck am I going? It's five, uh, 474. Uh, 474. This is actually a pretty cool looking one. Yeah, it looks pretty dope. Uh, they change out the heads. They, people just buy the heads for them. And if they have the charger, it's like a little charging bracket. Uh, Box 210, 264, and R28. And then from there, we'll see how many items we're at, and then we'll see how many more we'll keep going for. So 264 is not here, 210 is not here, so it's on this side. Uh, 210 is right here. It's sold for $10. Uh, I think I sold it for parts. I don't think it turned on. So now we're going to 426. Yeah, that one's I think it's sold for parts. Uh, 605 and 420. 420 is like right here too. Oh, actually 430. So I'm gonna knock these out here. So this right here, Amazon Kindle sold for $21. See, there's a similar one. I could have just picked it up if I didn't have the numbers. 
but that tells me that there's probably more in here. So 62, that one's not even it. That is why I use the numbers. And see, I think someone actually messed up and uh, actually already shipped out the wrong one. Maybe even me. So that's why I use the numbers and that's why they're good for me. If you have a smaller store, then you should probably shouldn't worry about that. But let me check if it's at least uh, the same model number. Yeah, luckily it's the same model number and that we shipped it out, but it's it's not the right one. For a second I thought this thing sold, which is like fucking a thousand dollars. I was like, oh shit, it kinda looks like a little Canon camera. And this one sold for $9.59. And then we have this mouse. Which is in box 605, which is back here. And then, after this one, and I still have uh, one that I have to pick up. Uh, but this thing, this little Motorola phone, sold for nine dollars. Oh, so yeah, a little older, older phone. Trying to see where it goes. There we go. I think you can take that. And then I have this thing at 238, which is actually right here under us. Which sold for seven dollars. Seven. Oh sure. So you sit one. So this is a remote control for some Google Nest thing. I don't know. Uh 252. This sold for thirteen dollars, and this little remote sold for seven. Yeah. This watch sold for thirteen seventy-five. Now I'm gonna go on fifty-three. Little battery, a little heavier. So it's right here, nineteen thirty-three, and the battery sold for twenty-four sixty-three. And now we're going to box 412. Okay, these are the last ones I'm gonna do, then I'm gonna count. So 452 is right here. Four fifty-two, it's a Bluetooth earpiece, and this one is stacked, so 1850 found it. That's a little Bluetooth headset. This sold for six dollars twenty-four cents. Uh now we have a box 412, which is me on the other side, Brandon. Uh, so it's a Roku thing, it sold for $5.94, it's $35.03. Now R28, real quick. It's like a nail gun. That one sold for $24, put in a medium flat rate. Uh, Cause that's I think what they paid for shipping. So, yeah, let's count this up. I'm gonna just count it up on the screen. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. Uh, yeah, show them the items. One, two, three, four, four, three, five, 46. So it's gonna be 49 items once I pull out the big one. So let's pull out those big ones real quick. This one right here is a huge Tanoi a uh, single speaker that I sold for parts and that went for 150, 349 total with shipping. But I think I, I think it's gonna ship out for like 50 bucks because it's going as global shipping and it's going to the Kentucky base. So I think uh, I lucked out on that. So it's pretty, it's pretty big. So bam. It's like probably like 70 pounds. It's just really big. Oh, my freaking wrist is hurting. It's actually upside down, but it's pretty big. Like, I have to put that in the thumbnail. 1,028. I do need to come up with a better way to store these receivers uh, in terms of like uh, 
finding them better. I don't know, I'm gonna come up with something and then when I do make this, the change, I'll make a video about that because I'm having trouble finding these fuckers. There's, I have like 200 of them listed now, so it's getting a little harder, that's for damn sure. So we found it after five hours of looking for the receiver. It's a box, it's 1,028 and this sold for $40 plus 30 shipping. And then the next one is gonna be 3537 Onkyo. And this was sold for 300, I know where this one's at. I just got it. Right now, we'll get that right now. Uh, but this one sold for $300 and we tested it. And I'm actually gonna show you guys how I test receivers now. Uh, my dad has has always had a setup to test them, but now I'm gonna build one here. Uh, my dad's right next door, so like I just, whenever, whichever ones that are I knew for, for a fact could possibly work. What The ones that I know for a fact are broken. You know, I listen for parts. I have like a wire cut, but like these, I wanna test them out. So this one sold for 300 and you want to look for the ones that have like an HDMI port, gain tuner, like you no know, ones that have like a bunch of different things going on, HDMIs. Um, and those are the ones you really want to look for. So for 300, I think it normally went for like four, but I let it go. So, but I just got to put a power cord with it. Let's get this other one. And then that's pretty much it for all the items that I'm going to ship out today. Because I still have to list and I actually already went to the gym, but I want to list like 50 items today. And this alone will take me a good bit of time. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys, I think I did a little better job of showing what sold this time. Okay, so, these are 49 items that I pulled out right now. $100. Um, this sold for $100. Or, no, this sold for $40. $300. $150. $12 or something like 16 bucks. And these are all just miscellaneous items. But at the end of the day, it all adds up. I try to mix in these kind of items and these kind of items all in together. And at the end of the day, it's a very good payday. I think with all these items you sold like two days ago, uh, I think they sold on Sunday. So it's, it's, in a, it's a crazy amount of uh, you know money at the end of the day, even though there's there are some that are $5, but I'm not gonna get discouraged for the ones that are $5. At the end of the day, it's a great payday. So over here as well, like these are the items that I'm gonna list soon. I have big items right here, right? This is 500 bucks for parts. And I also have tubs right here full of items that are just small. Oh, shoot. Like, this is the smallest stuff that's five. You know, this is Sound Care. It's a, it's a brand that's not really that known. But I try to get these kind of items and these all the time and I mix it up and that's really how I get a good amount of money because I get you know, mixed in with both of them. So this is the product that I have to list soon. Um, this is an espresso machine, look for espresso machine. I'm gonna list this, it obviously looks terrible. I'm gonna test it and see if it works. It's missing a lid. But if you search up this freaking brand right here, Academia, Gagia, whatever, like this is literally a thousand dollars brand new, 750 pre-owned. And if it doesn't work, I'll sell it for like 450, four parts. But if it does, I can just put that it's missing the pieces and the little tray and it's missing parts uh, and I can sell it pre-owned for uh, like 650, you know? So like, just look for those kind of items, guys. I don't just sell $5 items. I don't just sell these kind of items. I sell everything I possibly can. So anything that's profitable. So yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this video is sponsored by www.playotech.com. Um, I'm gonna show an example of 500 items. This is a 500 item sample size it's right there. Uh, if you guys want to buy inventory for you guys to store for a very low price. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later.